In this video, I'm going to go over how to create menus inside of WordPress. So to begin, we can come on over and we can come to appearance and we have menus. Now, before I do that, though, I want to show you which theme I'm working with. So when I come on into themes, I have installed customizer and the customizer themes are themes inside of WordPress right now that are very highly customizable. So if you can find this one, if you want to work this, with this one as well, you can. Just come on in and hit add new and type in C-U-S-T-O-M-I-Z-R. And then when you come to your theme page, make sure that that theme is activated. So for instance, you might be seeing this theme all the way over here. And if that's the case, hit activate. Okay, so we come and we have our menus. I come to appearance and I come to menus and here I am. Now, what I can see when I work with my menu, what can I add to my menu? Well, I can add pages, I can add posts, I can add custom links, I can also add categories. I can give you my menu a name as well, if I'd like to. Okay, so let's create some pages. So let's say this is the Peace Seedlings project. I'm doing a website for the Peace Seedlings. So I'm going to add a new page. I'm gonna to come to pages and I'm going to, one of my pages will be titled Yoga. Now when I come on down here too, when I create a page, I can see that I want to, um, I can do a default template or I can do a custom page example. I'm gonna just stick with default template Okay, so I come on back to my appearance and I come to my menu and I can see that I have the page that I just created and I also have sample page. Now again, I can add other pages. I can choose from categories, which are part of posts, from links. Um, so what I want to do now is create a menu and I'm going to actually, I'll name it menu one, create menu. All right, now that I have the menu, I can actually choose where it's going to be. And I'm going to say automatically add it to the top. I'll make it the main menu. I'm just going to choose all of these and then I can start taking them off as well. I'm going to add the yoga to there. I'm going to hit save, save menu. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go and I can also manage the locations of where it is and I pretty much applied it to all of them. So again, we can have multiple menus and put them in different areas and take a look at where they actually are. Now I'm going to come to visit my site. I can see I have my home page and I have yoga. Now let's say I want to come back to my home page. The only way that that home page is available is on the landing. Well, I can actually uh, come on in and make it a page. So I'm going to copy this URL. This is the landing page URL. I'm going to come to edit copy. Now I'm going to come back to my dashboard and I'm going to come back to my menus and I'm going to add a custom link. I'm going to give it the name of home and I am going to paste in that page. I can give it a lowercase h. I'm going to add it to the menu. I'm going to put it up on top of the yoga. I'm going to hit save menu. And now when I come and I visit my page, I should see that home is here. So I can click to yoga. I can click to home and I can see that I am creating my menu bar. Now again, we can experiment with where those other menus have ended up going. We'll not worry about that just yet. And let's take a look at how we can add categories. So what are the difference between pages and posts? Well, a post is dynamic. A post has a date and a time and an author. Uh, so we think about blog posts. We can organize our blog post into categories. So for instance, uh, our categories, our posts could have to do with the PC Things Project, could have to do with meditation, with yoga, mindfulness, different categories. Now. Um, when we look at pages, pages are static. So when there is content that we want to stay in one place, that is what we would use. Great. All right, so I'm going to add a category and I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to give it the category of um, uh, 
I'm going to add a new category. Great. Okay, so I'm going to come on back to my menu and I'm going to see it there. Now, this is the story though. The categories are going to be things that we can apply to blog posts. So if I wanted to pull blog posts, that is how, why I would use category. Um, so I have, um, you know, I have uh, yoga as a page, right? So um, that might be, again, it would be static. It would give information about that. If I wanted it to come in as a blog post, I could put it in as a category. All right, so I'm going to come on back to uh, appearance. I'm going to come on back to my menus. I'm going to click onto here. I'm going to come to my categories and I'm going to view all. I'm going to hit this. I'm going to add this to the menu. Again, I can change where it is. If I wanted it to be a sub item, I could do that as well. I could just put it under like so, save menu, and wait till we see this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So what else I could do is I could actually add uh, a blog for a page and then put the categories in as sub items. Um, so I'm going to come visit site. I'm going to hit yoga and I can see that I have meditation under here. So again, we can do this with categories, with pages. Okay, I'm going to come back to the dashboard. I just wanted to give you the example of what it would look like if I was to add a custom URL to this. So again, I'm going to come to my menu, menus and now let's say I want to add a custom link. Okay, um, let's say that I want to put a link out to uh, University of Pennsylvania's mindfulness. They have a mindfulness training center. I'm going to get that URL. I'm going to come whichever page I want to. Maybe I want to come to the course offerings. I'll go right to this. Again, I'm going to hit click. I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to come on back to here. I'm going to put the exact URL in right here and I am going to put mindfulness program at Penn. I'm going to hit add to menu and now I have it. I'm going to put this out. I'm going to hit save menu. I'm going to visit my site and I can see that I have this click to Penn's program that I have this click to meditation. Now nothing will be here because I do not have any blog posts yet. Uh, I can have this click to yoga and this click to come on back home. So we can see it's very easy to do this. Now this is not the menu that I'm going to work with, uh, but what I wanted to give you an idea of in this video is the difference. We have a page. This is a category, which is how we organize our posts and a link out. Uh, as I progress through my videos in this playlist, uh, you'll get a better understanding of when you would want to use a page and when you'd want to use a post and how to go about using and choosing categories. Thanks so much.